first step to getting something exported is actually getting the exporter installed in the 3ds Max. It's really simple to do it. You're just going to go to your um, Brawl of Ages content starter kit and in the tools directory you're going to find the 3ds Max exporter folder. Inside there you're going to find the actual plugin. Then you're going to open up your Autodesk folder which is where you have 3ds Max installed. It's usually something like C, Program Files, Autodesk and then you're going to see the 3ds Max 2017 folder. Inside there you're going to browse to your plugins, open that up and then just um, copy and paste um, the file there and it might ask you to provide permissions just that's fine hit OK continue and that's all you need to do. Once you've got the exporter placed in the proper directory you're going to start up 3ds Max. Again we're using 2017 this exporter is specifically built for 2017 um, if you got 18 or, or something's newer at the time that you're watching this video, we can look at um, you know maybe making a new build. But anyway, for now, to access the exporter, you're going to go to the utilities panel. It's a little wrench tab up here. Click on more, and then scroll until you find the S2 exporter. Click that, hit OK, and it loads the exporter, and it should look something like this. Okay, let's try exporting something. So I'm just going to create a box, just any old box. I'm going to go to the material editor and I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to call it material. I'm going to apply that to the box, just drag and drop in it. I'm going to change the ambient and diffuse to white, and that's important because the material will actually export with those settings, and so it'll be tinted. If you, for instance, if you had it blue, your object will be tinted blue. And since we're using a texture, we don't want to do that, but you may actually want to do that for, in some cases, but for this, not. So I'm going to use a diffuse. That's going to be a bitmap, and I'm just going to use this happy face. And if you want to see your actual texture in Max, you want to back up and hit this button right here, Show Shaded Material in Viewport. And that shows you we've got an object with the texture on it. Let's hide the material editor. And let's add a little bit of animation just to you know, see how it exports. So I'm going to turn the Animate button on. Just going to move some frames. Just going to wiggle it around a little. Uh, good enough. All right, let's try exporting it. Let's go to the utility panel, got the exporter up. We're gonna make sure we copy textures, geometry, model definition, materials, and animation. When you're ready, just hit the export button. Name your file. For now, I'm just gonna leave it export. Export MDF and export clip. And it gives you a little bit of a summary on what exported. All right, let's fire up the model viewer. If you don't know how to do that, Make sure to check the workshop guide. It'll give you information on the shortcut and how to do that. Also, if you don't know where to export your files, there's information on the proper directory structure there as well. So now once you've got it exported in the right spot, you can just drag and drop your model definition files. That's the one, that's the one with the extension MDF. You can't, dra you can't drag and drop models, only MDFs, and you can actually drop effect files too, but that'll come later. So we just basically take the MDF, drag and drop it in the model viewer and we got it and so now that's our that's a workable model in the engine you could use this in effects you could use this in the game somewhere um, you could also add a lot more animations and once you had their clip files set up properly they would show up here on this list and that's the basics of exporting